Now, can you get an app? Is it too low? You can check the chat box. My voice is too low. Is it better now? Or is it still low? It's better now. Okay, great. Thank you. So I think it was the earpiece. So I said.
Hello, can you hear me now? Aminat. Who can hear me? Do I have to leave and join again? Okay, great. Thank you. I just want to make sure that um, it's being captured. My voice is being captured by the recording, right? So I said the first thing you need to work on is your mind. You need to work on your mind. You need to work on getting rid of any limiting mindset, okay? So first, you need to accept. You need to accept that there are opportunities out there for you. The opportunities that you can take advantage of. So you've heard of people that are winning grants, people that are winning funding, you know, people that get um, different angel investors, for example, for their businesses. But for some reason, you just think or you just believe that it cannot happen to you. You feel like your business is not is not um, qualified enough. You feel like um, you don't have the numbers. Or for some reason, you just believe it cannot be you right? That's one thing you need to get rid of, okay? So you need to understand that people with less results than you are making way more money than you are because they don't have what, they don't have the ability to doubt themselves because they are more confident than you. So you need to have confidence in yourself, you need to have confidence in your business, you need to have confidence in what you are building. And that is the first step, right? Then Secondly, you need to do your research. So usually there are a lot of funding in different fields. Maybe you're um, a small business owner within one to five years. There are grants, there are opportunities, there are accelerator programs that are tailored specific, specifically for people within that period. Okay, so you maybe you work in a few like maybe climate or you work with women or you work with young people or with technology they are tailored grants tailored opportunities tailored funding avenues for those particular fields so you do your research right don't just um, randomly apply to any opportunity that you see okay because one it takes a lot of time to do an application process to write a pitch, all those things. It takes time, it's taxing. So you don't want to waste your effort. You don't want to waste your, your energy. So what you have to do is do your research. You see an opportunity, go through it very carefully. Read the FAQs very, very, very carefully. Then honestly ask yourself, am I qualified for this opportunity, right? Am I qualified? Look at everything they say they are looking for. And ask yourself if you meet up. So even though, yes, you do not self-sabotage, you don't disqualify yourself before they disqualify you, but you also need to make an honest assessment based on the track record of these guys, based on the kind of companies or businesses that they have funded in the past, and based on where I am right now at this stage of my business, do I stand a chance, right? That's a question you need to ask yourself. Do I stand a chance? So if the answer is yes, if maybe there are 10 qualifications and you have eight, but you don't have two at that point in time, and those two are not like key or vital requirements, you can still go ahead and try. You can still go ahead and apply and shoot your shots, right? Like I said, don't self-sabotage. So if those two are things that you could work on getting, within a particular time frame, then by all means do that, by all means work on getting it, okay? So um, that's something to do your research very carefully. Don't just see a link and be like, ah, okay, ah they are giving $10,000 or so, hmm, let me just apply. First of all, ask yourself, the stage I am in my business, <laughs> do I look like the kind of, do I look like kind of person that these guys are looking for, okay? Is this what I need? Is this the trajectory? And if maybe you're, you're a small business owner, right? And you, you, you plan to maintain a certain level of autonomy in your business. And you've been making progress, you're making sales, you have some level of traction and you see a show like maybe Dragon's Den or Shark Tank. 
ask yourself, okay, is this is it is this what I I want? Even though yes, you have the opportunity to get access to tens of thousands of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars in funding, but you know these guys um they usually take like a percentage of your company right equity in exchange of them for the money that they are giving you. So if you're the kind of person that you want to um, retain autonomy over your business over your business model, right? then giving away a good percentage of your company to external investors may not be the path that you want to take. It may not be the route that you want to take, right? So even though, yes, you have the possibility of gaining money from that, but it's now contrary to the objective or the initial goal that you set for your business. So which brings us back to a very important point. What are your goals? What are your plans? What are your objectives for your business? What did you set out to do with this business in the beginning? So I know maybe your, your, your plan is just to make money or you, you went to business because you don't want to be broke. You don't want to be poor. You had an idea. You felt like, okay, this is something that people can pay for. So let me build it, right? Good and fine. You should have a plan. You should have a business plan. Okay. So even maybe when you are applying for grants, or opportunities this is one question that they they will ask you they will definitely ask you like okay where's your business plan where's your business pitch where's your business proposal where do you see yourself in the next two years where do you see yourself in the next three years where do you see yourself in the next five years do you understand so if you're applying for something like the tony, the tony elumelu um grants for example tony elumelu grant they ask you some very very technical questions, right? That require you to have a deep and astute understanding of your business. Can you hear me? Can you still hear me? Let me know before I continue. Can you drop it in the chat box if you can hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, Kelvin, the line is breaking. Is it better now? Mm, yeah it's better okay thank you so you need to have an understanding of your business beyond the surface level right so like i said first of all you have to accept that it is possible to win thousands of dollars in funding for your business there are a lot believe me a lot of opportunities out there and the people that are winning it the people that are winning they don't have two heads right they don't have two heads. Their businesses may not even be as good as yours, but they don't. They just have the confidence to put themselves out there. It is something that you must do. So, but you need to know your numbers. You need to know um, exactly where you are at every stage of your business. You need to have an elevator pitch. So let's just assume, mm, assume you have a business, you have a small business that you run, and you happen to just be in the same room with someone that has the opportunity to invest 10 million naira into your business, all you have to do is convince them. Like they are willing, right? They are open to the idea of investing. They have the money. They are open to the idea of giving it to you. All you have to do is convince them to show them why they should invest in you. Are you will you be ready right now to make that pitch? Like I just give you a call like, ah, Kelvin, there is somebody I have. He has 10 million naira. He's looking for a business to invest in. I want to send you his number so you can call him and pitch to him. And you have 10 minutes to pitch to him and 10 minutes to convince him. Is that something you'll be able to do, right? Do you have the stats? Do you have the numbers? Do you know what investors want to hear? Do you have a structured business plan? Do you have a trajectory? Like, because these guys, they they would, they would want to, they want to know, like in the next two years, in the next three years, in the next four, five years, how, how do you plan to make money? How much money do you project that you will make, especially from what you're doing right now? They want to see the numbers, right? So if you're the kind of business owner that you've not been recording data in your business, I would advise you to repent, okay? Repent and change. So from today, start recording your data. You should know like, oh, okay, what is the average number of customers I get in a month? What is the average number of sales I get in a month, right? In a quarter, in a year. 
oh, how has my business grown over the past six months, over the past eight months, over the past one year? Because when you're applying for grants or when you're pitching to investors, it is this data and it is this number that we convince them to give you their money, right? So you can't just stand in front of them and be like, oh, I have an amazing idea. I believe it's going to change the world. Oh, I'm, I'm very passionate. I'm very passionate. I'm very passionate. There are a lot of passionate people <laughs> out there who start businesses and they fail. So the, the percentage of businesses that fail every year is a lot. It's, it's, it's astonishing, right? So they also do not want to waste their money. They need to be able to see that, okay, these guys know what they are doing, right? And there is a very good chance of me getting a return on my investment. And one way you're able to show that is numbers, is numbers, right? So you need to have like clear numbers. Well, this is this is where, how when we started, this is how much we invested. This is a return on the investment that we got. We started with 10 customers. Then we did this, we did this, we did this. We grew to 50 customers every month. We grew to 100 customers. This is how much we make. This is how much I need from you, right? So with this money, I'm going to do this and this and that. That would lead us to make so so and so amount of money. Clear data, right? Present it very simply, present it very understandably. So maybe you can go back and watch shows like Shark Tank, shows like Dragons Den, right? Where business owners come to pitch their business ideas. You will definitely learn one or two things. You learn a lot. So you will see the kind of pitches that business owners, that these um, investors right are more open to accepting you see how these business owners present their businesses okay present their data now at the end of this series because the series is just one part right these 30 minutes we definitely cannot um cover everything we'll be giving you templates we're giving you pitch templates right pitch decks that some of the top companies in the world have used to um to get funding right Simpler templates that maybe you as a small business owner can use, okay? We'll be sharing that with you, um, how you can calculate, like this data I'm talking about, your uh, marginal recurring revenue, your average recurring revenue, all, all, this, all this data that investors want to see. We'll share templates with you on how you can calculate that, right? So we know that you have the tools and uh, you have the knowledge, you have the idea, the resources that you need to apply for these business opportunities because... Um, I post of funding opportunities on the group every week. Okay. And I, I know some people may not apply for it because they don't know how. They don't know where to start from. They are confused. Okay. So we'll cover that in subsequent series and we'll take your questions because I the idea is we want um, our trendsetters to be to be equipped, okay, with the um the knowledge that they need to pro excel in their businesses. So millions and millions and millions of Naira are being given out in grants and in funding to small businesses every single year from different organizations. So there is no reason your own business should not be a part of it. Okay? There's no reason your own business should not be a part of it. So um, get ready. This is just session one. This is just session one. And um, we'll be having subsequent sessions. So for next session, try to start early. You know, we, we took 10 minutes out of our time. You know, I'm recording this session. We took 10 minutes out of our time. But the next one, I'm going to start exactly by 8. So I'm just going to teach and I'm just going to record. And then you can go back later and watch the recording. And the next webinar, you have an opportunity to ask your questions, right? So we'll do a lot of questions. We'll do a lot of questions. So if you have any questions, concern, maybe you've, you've tried applying for an opportunity that I posted on the group where you hooked at some point and you just gave up and abandoned it. You can bring the question like, oh, I tried doing this. So it didn't work out for me very well. What do you think I can do? What do you think I can do in that regard? Right? So uh, but do, does anybody on this call have have a question that they want to ask regarding what I have said too far. Is there something that, that was not clear? Amina, do you have a question? Eunice, Kelvin, do you have a question?
Okay. So Kelvin said he doesn't really have any questions at the moment. So this is just like I said, this is just like a part one. This is just a um to lay the foundation, right? So the next webinar will go more in depth into it. So um prepare your questions, come ready and come early, very, very importantly, come early so that we would have a for my internet to stay away. So that we'll have like a longer period of time, right? To um to talk about the subject matter, right? So if that is all, then we'll come to the end of this webinar. Thank you guys for showing up. I'm recording this session, so I would add the link to the recording on the group, okay? I will add the link to the recording on the group so you can go back and listen as a refresher. Then next week, Sunday, by 8 p.m. at the dots, we'll start. And then hopefully by then, I would have some templates that I will sh I'll be able to share with you. And um, yeah, we'll just take it from there. Okay, thank you. So if you got value from this session, go back on the group, just drop like, oh, we got value. Thank you so much for the webinar. I, this is what I learned, that's what I learned. And also that people that did not participate could, you know, they could see what they missed out on. All right, so do have a lovely evening. Take care. Bye.